Hi guys, are we ready for our next sound? Um, we're continuing with our phase two sounds, just as a little recap. So like I said before, we've done a s, a, t, p. And now we're gonna do i. Are we ready then? Let's start with our sounds. Nice and quick. Flatfish. Double trouble. K. Ah, brilliant. T. You're doing so good. P. We had that yesterday. B. Oh. Double trouble. S. Double trouble all, all, k, kicking cut, e, and finally, k. So, like we said, we're going to do our it sound today. Okay, are you ready? Let's do some words first. Let's chop them up and blend them. So, first sound. S, I, P. S, I, P. S, I, P. S, I, P. Brilliant. Next one is It, N, It, N, It, N, In. In, blend it together in blend it together is 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 blend it together It. Excellent. Have you got your whiteboard or your um, pencil and pen ready? And let's do some words. So I'm going to say a word and I'd like you to try and chop it up, write it down, and then we'll have a look at it together afterwards. First one is. 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 What two sounds? Is. How did you do? Is. Is. We use that in a lot of our sentences, so it's a good word to know. Next one. In. 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 Remember, you can pause this at any point if you need time to write it. In, in. Brilliant. Next one. Sip, 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 sip. How are you doing? Good. Super writing, everybody. Sip, sip, sip. And last one. Sit, sit. Listen to the sounds that I'm saying. Sit, sit, sit. You ready to say? Sit. 
How did you do? Did you find that okay? Brilliant. Now, as always, we're going to do some sentences. Um, just a good, it's good to practice writing sentences. Okay, and how do we start our sentence? Yes, we have a capital letter. What do we have in between our words? Finger spaces and what's at the end of our words? Punctuation, so you have got a full stop, you might have a question mark, you might have an exclamation mark, okay? Maybe have a look at these sentences and see um, what the um, punctuation at the end is. Are we ready? Now we'll start on the left hand side of your page. If you're on the whiteboard it will be over this side. Let's go. Is it dim? Is finger space it finger space dim dim do you think that's a full stop at the end or am I asking a question is it dim I'm asking a question so what's going to be at the end of my sentence you're right a question mark Let's look at the sentence together. A capital it to start because it's um, the start of a sentence. Is it dim? And my question mark at the end. How did you do? Was that okay? Let's do another, um, another sentence. Did Sid nap again I think that's a question so it's going to be a question at the end question mark at the end did N Sid nap yes he did so let's do the sentence again did finger space Sid finger space nap question mark should Sid have a capital letter for his name? Anyone tell me why? You're right, because all names have to have a capital letter, even if they're not at the start of a sentence. So let's do that sentence again. Did Sid nap? Did, the capital D, did Sid nap? Question mark at the end. Well done. I think that's quite a lot of sentences for today and quite a lot of work. Let's just finish with our phase two tricky words. Are we ready? Go. Two. No. Into the and finally I. Excellent. Well done everybody. You've worked so hard. So tomorrow we've done we're going through the list. Or well, the next day we've done the I. So we're going to do the N sound. So what I'd like to do is to be able to have all our phase two done and then we can recap our phase three if we've got time. Okay, well done. Thank you for um, checking in and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.